Uh, appreciate it, Justin, for the invite. Appreciate it, Juice, for having me as well. Um, like I said, I'm Marks McClendon. I'm the DB coach here at Minnesota Duluth. I'll be touching on a little bit of recruiting, about recruiting philosophy, and a little bit about what we do at Duluth and talk about um, at the high school level what we look for in, in kids and how we can touch base more on for coaches. So um, I'll share my screen here. Got you, Coach. Got it. Yep. All right, like I said, my bio said I, I played at the Wisconsin Whitewater from 2011-2014 uh, uh, as a cornerback. Then after that, went to Delavan Darien High School, was a co-defensive coordinator and DB coach there. Uh, then I was a Ketter Moran, got hired by Justin Gum, 2016-2017 um, season, was defensive coordinator there and also the DB coach. And then um, took an intern as GA position at University of Minnesota Duluth in uh, 2008 and was a cornerback coach. And then I think following that season, got promoted. Um, Full time to the secondary coach and uh, recruiting coordinator and co-recruit right now with uh, Jason Baltz, who will be taking over 2020 season. And like I said, Coach McClendon is my Twitter um, contact information. Um, then my cell number. Follow if you want to talk any more about recruiting, about uh, especially you guys in Wisconsin. I recruit the southeastern part of Wisconsin, so the Madison, Milwaukee, um, Kenosha, Racine area. So um, I touch base with a lot of you. Uh, coaches uh, in here in this chat right now as far as that area and that is my territory so if any more guys you want, uh, need to reach out to me about and and looking forward to talking more ball as well so touching on recruiting philosophy um the first and foremost is, is building relationships and that's where we start by when we contact our high school kids and, and i firmly believe communication is a is very important when it comes to building relationship on a personal level of getting to know those guys um personally uh getting to know the family background so about what the parents do, um, siblings, um, and, and things and things like that. So definitely building relationship is is kind of important to us and, and communication level and standpoint, keeping in, in contact with those guys and seeing what those guys like to do, hobbies. And another part is getting, getting to know us too on a personal level. So I want those guys to get to know me as far as who I am, where I come from, um, my coaching philosophy, um, a couple of kind of things what I'm about. So build a relationship with those kids. Um, it's a lot of them uh, when you're talking about um, territory wise, but and I think that's really important. And and you find uh, you find a lot about kids, and you find a lot about yourself, and you find a lot of good good communication uh, with what you get with kids, and and you learn 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 some things you don't want to know, but uh, you also learn some good stuff that you chew on in your program. So and I think building those relationships is you get to see what kind of kids fit your program. Because uh, although that kid might be talented, um, and, but character-wise, he, he might not be that good fit. And and moving on to evaluation standpoint, so we do a thorough evaluation um, positionally and territory-wise. Um, so for me, I, I, I grade all the defensive backs, corners, nickels, and safeties, and, and thoroughly evaluate them um, and see on film. And one thing about film, what we look at is, and especially at the, at the D-back, um, at the D-back level is, is that guy, um, is he in the conference to where he runs a lot so he don't show as much um, coverage film? Uh, and those are the type of guys we like to see at camp. Um, same with O-line, is, is he's a wing team, but we run a, a multiple offense. How can that guy move from a wing team offensive system to a multiple uh, offensive system? So if by the way film is thoroughly, uh, we rank our guys and and we give thorough feedback. I'm I'm truly, truly a believer of getting a thorough evaluations. I get contact kind of coach, have evaluated my film, can you give me honest feedback. Uh, what are some things we need to work on? So um, I, I think that's a really good thing that kids do, and we give them honest opinions. Um, we're, not, we're not trying to, not trying to break their spirits, but also not trying to uh, tell them, tell them something that's not what's going on. But give them a thorough evaluation of, hey, this is what we see on film. I'm looking forward to see you in person and seeing you in camp. So, um, and that's and that's the biggest thing: the film versus in person. Because uh, there are some guys who got really good high school huddle tape, and then you see them in person doing drill work. It's not as smooth or it's not as thorough. Um, as you would like, and vice versa. Some guys don't have that much explosive on the huddle tape because, you know what I mean, you can't really see as much as you see those guys in person or at, at a workout. It's like, wow, they, they blow you out the water. So uh, knowing the difference and, and evaluating film versus in person, I think that's really important as well. And then scheme-wise, and as we're going through evaluating guys and at positions, is can these guys, their playing style, can they match our scheme? And, and that's the type we look for. Um, and that's how where it can get tightness to where, Two, two, three guys in that same same position is one guy might be fitting our scheme, um, and another guy might not. So as far as the talent level, as far as evaluation and program vision, 
program vision, I think that is really important uh, when we talk about um, selling your program, as they say. Um, you know, really, yes, you're not really a salesman. Uh, cause I think the program vision, you're just really talking up your program and, and talk a little bit about Minnesota Duluth and that's, and you really enjoy, enjoy what you do. And, and you talk about the program at a, at a high level, high level. So, um, you just, you sell a program, what it has to offer city, um, what the things are doing the city wise academics, what is a, what is your academic success? What kind of majors they have, what kind of resources you have for these kids, um, and plan and athletically speaking, uh, competition level, uh, what those guys, what do you see them as, um, success of your program? And things like that. So program vision is is really big on um, a recruiting level because, and I really I really think high school kids, um, from a personal standpoint, again to know them, and then talk more about your program, uh, about um, the city is in, and, and things like that. And and all our coaches touch on that as far as the program vision, what we believe in, our head coach's philosophy first and foremost, um, what he believes in and what he stands for, because that's because that's a culture and a culture of our program we want to create because we bring in those guys into our culture and we want those guys to match our culture and our program and then territory first and foremost in territory for us uh being a division two school up in minnesota and i think we we want to win the battle of minnesota and also wisconsin uh 90 percent of our roster is from minnesota wisconsin so when you talk about territory uh we want to attack minnesota uh, maybe we want to attack wisconsin primarily as far as, as far as getting those recruits getting those getting those kids out of there but how we do it um, each of our coaches um, who recruit has our own territory. So we recruit Wisconsin, Minnesota, um, a little bit of the Chicago area, Northern Illinois, then a little bit of Las Vegas. Um, that's uh, the head coach and not a little getaway, but just kidding. Uh, but that's that's a little bit of our territory. So when we want to want to match our territory and, you know, get connected with the coaches and, and be familiar with the, the conferences and, and the players there. So uh, I think that the philosophy of identifying the territory where you at and definitely winning in state. So in state for us is Minnesota and primarily a little bit of Wisconsin because that's that's the majority of our roster is from. And timeline, uh, timeline is how we do things at Minnesota Duluth, and I can speak about starting off off season. So out of season, January, February uh, is our is our contact period to where we reach out to coaches and I said email uh, a lot of coaches. That's where you primarily get the for the junior class going ahead. We really don't recruit freshmen and sophomores um, as far as a contact period with us being division two, but the January through March range is where we get in our, our contact period as far as the timeline goes. And then we evaluate film. And then April when you come to junior days and, and uh, uh, Minnesota combine, Wisconsin combines as well, getting out there to see those kids and, and see them in person at their evaluation stage. And then heading to the summer uh, where you got your June and July, mostly June is your camp season. So, and that's where we, we continue to stay in touch with those guys. And as far as the contact level and the contact period, and, and the camp is big for us. And, and as you know, I know you guys promote promote camps um, around the Midwest, and it's a big thing getting those guys out to camps because, like I said earlier, touched on film versus in person. And seeing those guys in person, seeing how they look in person, one, um, see how they move, see how they bend, see how they play with contact and, and different drills per se. So uh, that, that, that camp season is really big for us. And then going into the season, it's more game day visits um, than getting those guys out to game day so they can see campus, see see what it's like a game day atmosphere. We got a, we got a pretty cool um, game day atmosphere up there in Duluth, as um, long as the weather permits for the most part. Uh, but it also is a cool, cool atmosphere. So game day is where we're big on getting those guys up there to see it. And then going into other season, so uh, November and December is when we get into more of our official visit to those to those kids. We locked in scholarship guys uh, offers or next guys to be scholarship offers to get them up on official visit to to to, to get more thorough process on on the, on the campus and the culture and academics and stuff like that. And touching on changing with times, and I'm not too far off plan. Like I said, I graduated high, uh, my last year playing high school 2010 and 2020 now, but I think recruiting is is changing with times for sure. And right now. As we all know, uh, social media and Twitter is a big thing. It changes with time, so, um, graphics, and just keeping up with the keeping up with the changes in time as it goes with recruiting process and not sticking to old ways because there's new things out there, there's new programs that you competing with with recruits that's doing good things and and cool things. So you just want to continue to talk to people at different levels and, and different conferences and see what they do and and you try to make make your own thing. So what I say, the Luther trying to make our own thing and what you promote a program vision and trying to trying to get that to the kids so they know what it's about before they step foot on there or add on to it after they step foot on campus. And recruit better than the year before. Um, and I tell my guys on our roster right now, I tell my DB room, um, 
when we bring in a new class, I'm bringing the class that's better than you. So you better keep on improving what you do. So, and I think the recruit better than you did last year. So speaking of our, our 2020 class should be better than our 2019 class. We want to continue on building a, a top tier program and continue on getting better that way. So uh, I firmly believe that continue to recruit better than you did the year before. And, and you evaluate from your class position uh, for the year before to where you at now and moving on to 2021 is I'm, I'm looking for, I mean, DBs, I was better in the class we got coming in essentially. And that's how you want to evaluate it and to keep continue to prove your class. In a picture purple world, you want it to be that way. Um, but there are some times and you know what I mean in a recruiting battle, you, you mess out on some kids and you know what I mean one class might be better than the other, how they pan out. Um, you never know in the in, in the college in the college world. So you want to continue to on the evaluation level to continue to recruit kids that's um, better than the year before. Uh, moving on to high school recruit. So uh, this, this I want to touch on a little bit about um, how we evaluate what we look at, what we look at for high school guys, um, and what we look for uh, with that. So social media, uh, that's a that's a big thing for us is a kids Instagram, Twitter, um, Twitter account, and, and Facebook. We like to check out just to scroll through to see how those guys are character wise. To those guys, what are, what are they putting on social media to promote themselves and their program? And social media is big, as we all know, and that's where the that's where the college and recruiting game is going to. Uh, so we, we we big focus on the social media aspect of it, on on that and looking at that. So profile, it's a big thing. So profile on Twitter, we really like guys who's. I mean, it's easier um, for guys who have their you know I mean their their, their name, their class, their height and weight with the link to the huddle film on their Twitter profile, because um, that that that'll, that'll help out. You know, what I mean, as far as the evaluation process and, and looking for those guys, and especially on huddle as well, because some guys have their freshman, they five seven, one one fifty five their freshman year, but we, we're looking at their junior film, their huddle huddle profile is still five seven one fifty five. So, I mean, promoting those guys to continue to update their huddle film and their huddle uh, profile as well, that'd be that'd be tremendous. Um, as far as when you when you evaluate a kid, because you don't want to miss out on, on the kid by. I mean, from from looking at them from that valuation standpoint, in the film, um, film is is one thing. If some guys uh, huddle tape or their their highlight tape be ten to twelve minutes with, with with a lot of clips, or it might be too short in one minute in one game. Um, from a film perspective, really like guys who you know what I mean four or five minute range is really good range for film. But we also like guys who play two position to do defensive and offensive or vice versa to to split those up because that a that that shows that it shows that the evaluation process of of guys of who's defense what they can do on defense and as well as offense, and and another thing is big thing I think the position where where it's flexible is, is the quarterback position to where there's a lot of athletes at quarterback but they might they might play defense a little bit and we really really um encourage those guys to put their defensive film up if they don't I mean but um we usually guys who quarterbacks who might not be a quarterback for us but could play elsewhere we look at their uh their athleticism so. Um, and that goes to a different position, O-line, D-line, and vice versa. So when it comes to film, we really look at, um, at those guys. So continue, continue to update these guys because we get guys who's, who, um, who we get a list of prospects and, and really good prospects, but they might, might not update their film. So continue on, continue on reminding those guys to update their film, um, update their Twitter profiles because um, I think guys uh, respond more on Twitter than they do on cell phone. So uh, to, to get on Twitter more. And things like that. So, and I think that's a huge thing. And the last point I want to touch on is coach recommendation. And, and first and foremost, um, speaking of my territory, I want to thank thank you, coaches, who who responds and, and get back to a thorough evaluation. Because I thoroughly I, I thoroughly trust your trust your evaluation of your kids. Because you work with those kids uh, for four years and however long it may be. And those coach recommendations speak a lot. And I'm give a fair evaluation back because coaches. I mean, all the time we we talk about. Kids that are having a program where we see them at, um, I'll remind uh, coaches as well about if we're about to offer a kid or not and what you really su truly uh, see those kids at. So, and I think coaches' recommendations have been big for us, um, especially the guys we develop a relationship with over the time. And and we can we can take that kid over coach's recommendation, rather we didn't get that a really thorough uh, coach recommendation, but same type of talent level. I'd rather take that kid because we, we, trust, we trust that coach and we trust his personality, we trust his character, and, and that's big. And that comes from – Building relationship uh, with the player that comes from building relationship with the coaches and and the programs to say that you guys have and how you how you guys run your program. So, uh, coach recommendations is, is is really big for us, and when it comes to that. So, um, and, and another thing is is contact information. I, I want to thank you guys as well for um, continue to send contact information of your guys and 
because you you know those guys those who don't have twitters or who those who don't answer their cell phone i'm quick to jump on the email or call hey coach uh this so-and-so is not really responding back what, what's up with him and y'all quick to get on those guys and, and you know i mean at least to get back to us and see what's going on so definitely appreciate that um so and that's pretty much uh, uh, to, to wrap up the recruiting philosophy and what we look for in high school coaches. And then, like I said, um, really, really interested and, in, you know what I mean, really looking forward to talk more ball um, or talk more recruits. If, if I miss one of your guys, if if you got anything more, coaches, feel free. Like I said, this is my Twitter and my cell number to to reach out if you got any, any questions or anything else. So, Drew, Justin, again, I appreciate you guys letting me speak tonight. Thanks, man. So a couple questions. So first one um, says, how, how does the offer process go for you and the staff? So I'm, I'm assuming just kind of like how do you guys make the decision on who you're going to offer? Yep, good question. So our process, um, like I say, it goes from evaluating film. That's the first thing we do. That's the first thing we get is evaluate film. And then we get a coach's, coach's recommendation. And, and then we got to we build a relationship with those kids. So that's how the process works for us. We want to make sure we got those those background checks. So we they we rank them first. Oh, these are the guys who's who top tier bubble prospects or offer prospects for us. You know, what I mean, we reach out to the coach and get a thorough thorough coach's recommendation, thorough background on those guys, and then we, we call those kids and, and we kind of build a relationship with them, talk about our program and and, and see if those interest because as well as we got to evaluate those guys. I always tell our recruits is as much as we evaluate you, the same thing you got to do to us. You got to evaluate me as a as a recruit, as a position coach, and us as a program. So that's kind of like our evaluation process work to how we start to offer kids. Uh, now, any, yeah. Any uh, unique things that high school coaches are doing that you've seen to promote kids that you guys appreciate or that make it life easier for you? Uh, yes. Um, when we send out, like when we send out about their prospect list, coaches that give, I mean, their the contact information, height and weight, huddle link, with the recommendation on the on the on the prospect list. Those those type of deals has been Really good. I really, 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 really appreciate those guys that do that, and also um, set up set up times when we come in and work out to either either adjust their what they're doing the strength and condition part, or they just add on um, extra stuff to do for positional drills, so we can be able to see those kids in person. So those coaches that do that is is really tremendous for us. Sweet. That's all we got, Coach. Appreciate it, man. Absolutely appreciate it, guys, man. Thank you very much.